Well, Red Tide has come to an end, for better or worse, and if you haven't heard my comments on that, definitely check out my Episode 6 breakdown. But it's time to move on to Death Valley, a four-episode miniseries with a focus on aliens. So we're going to dive right into the preview, and if you haven't checked it out, I've left a link to it in the description, but come on back because I am so very lonely. Here we see a military caravan escorting what seems to be President Dwight D. Eisenhower across a desert landscape. Of course, I immediately get Area 51 vibes. The title of this episode is Take Me to Your Leader, a double entendre referring to the president of the free world as well as the good old alien saying. Now when I was downloading this preview, the title said it was for episode 7, but since it wasn't from an official source, there is the small possibility the images here are from any of the next four episodes. Notice here the black and white imagery to fall in line with that time period, which if it falls under Eisenhower's presidency could be any time between 1953 and 1961. The military seems to have stumbled upon something and my mind immediately jumps to that of a UFO since we'll be seeing the military operate on an alien later on. But stick with me for a bit because I think there is something more surprising. We'll fast forward to what appears to be present day and a group of teens on a trip down a deserted road. I wonder if it's the same road the president took decades earlier. They're blasted by what could be an alien beam or maybe the show is totally throwing us off and it's a military light from a helicopter or something else because they've strayed into a top secret base. We see this super brief image of what appears to be an alien coming out of a ship, followed by an animal cut perfectly in two. Here we'll see that group of teens uncover an entire field of similarly cut carcasses. You'll see they're also in swimsuits here, so maybe they're off to find some hidden grotto. Well, this could actually be what Eisenhower and the military have found, Lily Rabe's character Amelia Earhart, whose plane went missing in the Pacific Ocean while trying to circumnavigate the globe in 1937. How the heck did she show up now, completely naked, in the desert? Notice also these spirals on her back, almost like crop circles. Did the aliens abduct her and now are sending her back to Earth? The teens find some rock markings which likely lead them to that swim hole they're heading out to. And here's our first look at Sarah Paulson who plays Mammy Eisenhower, Dwight Eisenhower's wife. A shot of some wreckage here, perhaps Amelia Earhart's plane which is being checked for radioactivity. Now this I'm kinda lost on. It looks like it could be a phone cord and someone has collapsed in the bathroom, as you can just make out a toilet in the reflection up here. Not really sure what this product is here, it kinda looks like cough syrup, but if you know, definitely post it in the comments. Okay, now we're getting into some really interesting stuff. Looks like Dwight is here and we aren't quite sure if he was the one who killed these doctors and nurses or if he's investigating. Regardless, it looks like Amelia is unharmed. In the double feature part 1 and 2 promo video that FX released a few weeks ago, we can see this brief glimpse of Amelia's x-ray which sets us in 1954. I'll be referencing this promo a lot going forward and I'll leave a link to that in the description. This is a very weird shot of a toy fire truck being beamed into the air. Everything is really small here which suggests it could be a miniature town. A woman shields herself from the wind and light emanating from outside her home. This matches this shot here from the other promo, and if I were to guess, this is the same woman who gets possessed later on. Here's an alien being dissected, and we hear Dwight Eisenhower say the line, I'm sure we can reach an understanding. It appears as though he's talking to this woman, but the editing is a bit sneaky here. Listen to her say, it is you, Mr. President, who will listen to us, as she levitates toward him. See if you can hear the underlining sound of a man's voice, perhaps someone who is controlling her. It is you who will listen to us. It is you who will listen to us. In the other promo, this woman tells the military her goal is to make something better, part human and part whatever she is. We need to create something better. Part human. Part us. There's another voiceover line here where an unknown woman says time is running out for both of us. This could suggest that aliens and humanity need to team up together for some unknown reason. Still no word if the Cold War will come into play here as well. Here we have an alien hand appear behind a blonde woman. Perhaps this blonde woman is Marilyn Monroe. We know someone will be playing the famed actress in the upcoming season, but in this shot here it looks as though the government is either kidnapping or killing her. Okay, here we have some blood dripping down. Not sure if it's from this hospital scene earlier on, and a close-up of a young boy looking at something. This looks like Kaya Gerber's character who plays a woman named Kendall. It looks like she's getting injected with some sort of ray gun by a man in a suit, probably the government. This is really cool, Mammy Eisenhower floating. If it's anything like the other floating woman we saw, it seems as though these aliens can take control of humans. 
Kendall inspects this guy's stomach, giving me huge alien chestburster scene vibes. And this is followed by a doctor getting his face sucked by some sort of alien blob. Again, just like Alien. On the autopsy table is an alien, not sure if this is the same one who appears to make contact with Marilyn Monroe. And it looks like this encounter will be very bloody. The final shot is of this woman being thrown up to the ceiling in her home. I wonder if it's the same woman from here, and also the one who gets controlled. You know, at first I wasn't too interested in Death Valley, but the more I'm starting to fit things together, the more it piques my interest. And I think it's going to be very different. What are your thoughts for part two? I want to hear them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe. And for more bad takes, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ThinkStoryYT. Until next time, remember, Daddy loves you very much.